Okay, three new Apple Watches dropped. Which one do you get? I'll let you know. So the three new Apple Watches, you got Apple Watch SE, Apple Watch Series 6, Apple Watch Series 3, old school. Now the comparison you can see here, I'll be honest with you, there's just not a lot that's different between all three of them. But the one thing that is different, price. The Series 6 is an improvement. It is a better watch. There are some improvements there. They're more software than hardware. Other than that, everything else is not much. It's going to be really more software and all those software updates are really going to be passed down if you have the Series 4 or 5 already. If you have a Series 3, I would probably say you got an update to come to. You can probably go get a Series 6 if you want to keep it on a budget. You know, if there's Series 4s or Series 5s that are still flowing around out there, there are some features there that you're just not going to get in Series 3. So obviously those would be at discounts from like Target or Walmart or Best Buy or wherever. Go get those. Series 6, I mean, starts at $399, so could be a good watch to jump to. If you have a Series 1 or a Series 2, pick any of them. You're, you are going to get a better watch no matter what. So if you go to Apple's website, there's only going to be three watches that are there. It's going to be Series 6, the Apple Watch SE, Series 3. If you have a Series 4 or 5 watch, you're not going to get a new watch this year. The Series 6 adds an SPO2 monitor, which a lot of watches, you know, from a Garmin or whatever else already have. But if you're not using that feature, there's no reason to bump up to the 6. There just isn't. If you have a Series 3, however, the Series 6 might be a good jump if you use the SPO2 and the ECG. If you have a Series 1 or a Series 2 Apple Watch, you got some upgrading to do. All the updates are more or less going to be software driven. So if you have a Series 4 or 5 already, not much that you're going to get different from the Series 6 if you're not going to use the SPO2. I have the Series 3, so I might be considering going with the Series 6 because there's oxygen uh, monitoring as well as the ECG. Got the old ticker and I struggle a little bit at elevation. Series 6 might be a good one for me. For most people, if you're not gonna use any of those features and you've had your Series 3 watch for two, maybe three years already, consider the SC. The SC is gonna be a bump up. It's a fresher watch. You're gonna get the bigger watch face, 40 or 44 millimeter. I would probably say if you have the Series 3, go to the SC. Or if you find some deals out there for the Series 5 or Series 4, go for that. Series 6 is a big jump. If you about that life, go get it. However, don't make the jump. I don't think the Series 6 is worth it at 400 bucks. There'll be some other variants like the Hermes and the Nike, whatever else. Those are more cosmetic, nothing functional under the hood that really gives you any functionality difference that makes an impact. I mean, if you're buying the Hermes, I mean, you know, it, you buy whatever you want. There are also some new bands that came out. I just, just wait, hold off on the bands. Amazon's probably gonna have some knockoffs that'll be coming out here shortly. That'll be way cheaper than buying them from Apple. From Apple's keynote, when they released the watch, the new Apple watch, Apple Fitness Plus is gonna be big moves because it looks like they're gonna try to jump into that Peloton marketplace with an exercise app full integration with the watch so it's kind of cool if you have your apple tv or whatever it is you can cast whatever workouts and you can actually see whatever your heart rate is and whatever your pacing is or whatever else on screen while you're working out what typically you'd have to look at your watch to do it and coming in at only like 10 bucks a month super competitive with peloton something to consider if you like working out at home Side note, I did get a question. You can still use your activity app without doing the whole subscription to Apple Fitness Plus. That's like a completely separate thing. So if you still want to go on a run and monitor your run, you can still do that. If you got any questions, I'll have links below. Just go ahead and DM me if you got any questions or whatever. I'll see what I can do to help you out.